going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a transmission service on my S550 here. I am going to be trying out the BG Synchro Shift 2. Some of you might have heard of this fluid as the liquid gold for these MT82s. It's supposed to do wonders. So that's why I went ahead and picked myself up this MT82 kit from Optimum Performance Mustang. Uh, here's their, their sticker right here, opmustang.com. Um, you can get it for about $94 plus shipping depending on where you're at, which is actually a pretty good deal for a full transmission service kit. It does come with um, a hand pump. You know, this, does, this goes in the bottle and you hand pump it into the transmission, which isn't too bad. I kind of like that. So I've heard a lot of claims of this fluid actually solving a lot of the sloppiness in the transmission feel. Not, sh not so much the shifter itself, but the actual transmission, the gears and uh, the whininess. This just all around helps it supposedly. So without further ado, let's get to it. The things I have to do just to get this thing on jack stands. Man. Okay, so just a quick overview of the tools that you'll be needing. Um, I've got a, you know, my good 3 8 with an 8 millimeter Allen, Allen socket, um, 6 inch extension. Uh, I've got a 9 millimeter socket on this just because I couldn't find my 8, but you'll need an 8 millimeter socket and an 8 millimeter Allen wrench, and that's all you'll need. So once you're under the car, you're going to want to locate the drain plug for your transmission, and that'll be right here. It's this black one. You'll see it's got the 8 millimeter receiver for that uh, Allen wrench. So we'll get the drain drain bucket right underneath it and break her open. Just like that. Get her off. Bingo. And while that's draining, uh, you wanna go ahead and give that about five to 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and loosen the fill plug, that way there's airflow going through and the fluid drains a lot easier, a lot faster. And your fill plug will be right up here on the passenger side of the transmission. It'll be an identical plug to the drain plug. And it's kind of tight to get to that um, fill plug. So what you want to do is get your 8mm Allen wrench, stick it inside the 8mm socket which is attached to the 6 inch extension. Put it on, All right, just like so. I've got the extension attached to the socket, attached to the Allen wrench which is in the fill plug. Loosen it, and by then it should be loose enough to get off by hand. Now, so once it's drained all the way down, you go ahead and grab your fill plug, place that back in. And when tightening it with the ratchet, you don't have to go too crazy. The torque specs on it aren't that high, so just firm, tighten it firmly. And that should be good. So the next step is to get the actual bottle ready to pump it. Go ahead and insert that tube just like that. Make sure you don't get it dirty though. Then you put it in the bottle. And tighten the cap down. And just like that, it's ready to go. So once you have your hand pump put into the bottle, you can go ahead and feed the filler neck tube into the fill plug hole and pump your life away. So just some advice, when you're putting the filler tube in, it's kind of hard to find the exact the exact spot it's supposed to go in because if you don't get it in and you start pumping it, it's just gonna start pouring out. So you gotta find the right spot where the tube actually goes in about two inches and then you're, you're good to pump from there. And once you feel the bottle start to get a little bit empty, you'll see it starts sucking up air. You kinda wanna tilt it forward, that way the, the tube gets all of the oil. 
All right, guys, it got a little dark under there to record. Just a quick overview. Once you get towards the end of the pumping process with that, you'll start to see the fluids come out of the transmission. Um, as it starts dripping out, it'll become a constant flow, and that's when you want to pull the tube out and then quickly grab the fill plug, pop it in, and tighten it down. Same thing with the fill plug. You, when you tighten it, you don't want to over tighten it just because it's aluminum. Um, you don't want to strip it out. So just a good snug tight, you know, don't crank on it. And that's it. So now that I've got all the fluid in the transmission, I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up here. And um, I've got a little cruise going on tomorrow morning, so that'll be the real test of this transmission fluid. I'll go ahead and do a review then. So uh, just stay tuned till then. Eight hours later. All right, guys, so we're about to go get some Dutch Bros. We'll get the coffee. We're going to meet up with Jamal, and then I'll go ahead and get to that review. Good morning. Hello. 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 Thank you. There you go. That's the kicker, and this is the 911. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have a good one. You too. Yeah.
when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never.